Hi guys, and welcome to this series on how to publish your Chrome extension to the web store. I'm Jack. And I'm Amy. And we are here to help you through the process. In the last video, we talked about what information is derived from the manifest file, what graphic assets we needed, and what URLs we can include with our extension. Now that we have our extension promotional material ready, let's go ahead and explain to the Chrome Store developer team how our extension is a great fit for the Chrome Store. We will talk about why it's important to explain our extension, why our extension needs to have a single purpose, how to explain each permission in the manifest JSON, and what is considered remote code. Let's go! So Jack, why do we have to fill out all this information? Does it really help? Every Chrome extension has to go through an approval process, first by a robot or algorithm, and then by a reviewing team member of the Chrome Web Store. This step is necessary. We've all heard of malicious Chrome extensions, and they're doing their best to keep these out of the Chrome Web Store. Why does my extension need to have a single purpose? What does this even mean? Well, a Chrome extension should do one thing. It's meant to accomplish one task or one type of task. The intention is to extend or enhance the Chrome browser. This is not a browser app or something that is supposed to replace something that the browser already does. Each Chrome extension can have multiple parts and multiple pieces of functionality, but they all must work together to fulfill a single common purpose. Here under single purpose, we have a chance to explain in a simple manner what our extension is designed to do. So for example, this local audio player, the description would be, the local audio player allows the user to play local audio files in the browser with a simple interface and some additional features, a sleep timer, navigation keyboard shortcuts. It also saves the position where you stopped listening. You can use up to a thousand characters, and it's a good idea to explain the purpose of your extension in simple terms so that a robot can understand it easily. Think about explaining this to someone in third grade. So let's talk about permissions. So the permissions are listed here in our manifest file. There's plenty of room here to explain why your extension needs each of these permissions. Let's use the local audio player as an example. So here you can see that we have the storage permission, the active tab permission, and a, and a host permission for the file schema. For the storage permission, we're using chrome.storage.local to store the last time the user stopped listening to an audio file. It saves the information of each audio file. For the active tab, we need the active tab permission to access the tab URL in the background page that is being played in the active tab. The host permission is any match pattern that you find in the content scripts or in the permissions field of your manifest. These match patterns here, uh, we need to explain why we need to inject the content script um, into these for our extension, and we need to explain why we need access to the URL in the, in the background page here with permissions. So Jack, can you explain a little bit more about what remote code is? Remote code is any external libraries that we add to our HTML files. For example, many developers use jQuery, and they add a CDN script tag to their HTML files. Um, here you can explain how you're using these libraries to accomplish a task within your extension. For example, if you're using Bootstrap, you can say you're using it to style your options page or your pop-up HTML file. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will talk about distributing our extension. We will talk about the Chrome Store payment methods, the different ways to publish your extension, distributing to specific regions, and the stats and ratings tab. For all this and more, 
join us on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.